Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install Kali Linux on Raspberry Pi. Now, there's a few things that you'll need in order to get started. Uh, you'll need to have, of course, a Raspberry Pi. I'm using the Raspberry Pi 3 uh, Model B. Uh, you'll need to have an image of Kali Linux. The image that we'll be using is from the website OffenseSecurity.com. Now, this image is a ARM image. Uh, for uh, mobile devices and so if you go to the website offense and security uh, com forward slash Kali Linux arm images and you scroll down you'll see that there is a area here that is for Raspberry Pi devices and the link that I clicked on was the Raspberry Pi 2 3 so go ahead and download that image now the other application that you'll need is an application that will allow you to create bootable disks. Uh, the application I'm using is called Rufus. Uh, you can get that from the website rufus.akeo.ie. And if you scroll down on the Rufus page, you'll see that there is a portable version. That's the version that I'm using. So once you have those uh, three things, uh, you can go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Rufus here. And I'm going to go ahead and update the app. Now, what you'll want to do is verify that the volume, your storage device, is, of course, in your computer, but also selected here. Uh, if you have any other drives in your computer, USB drives or uh, portable hard drives you want to make sure that you're not selecting any of those drives and that the only device that you have selected is the uh, SD card for the partition scheme you want to make sure that the MBR partition scheme for BIOS or UEFI is selected the file system is important as the Raspberry Pi is only capable of reading FAT32 file system so we'll want to change this to FAT32 the new volume label uh, you can change that I'm gonna change mines to read Kali you'll want to make sure that create a bootable disk is checked and we want to create a bootable disk using DD image now once you verify that all of these are set properly. You want to go ahead and locate your your uh, disk image. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on this icon to do that, and navigate to where your image is located. And once you again verify that all this information is correct, you can go ahead and click on Start. Just keep in mind that if there is any information on that SD card, it will be erased. And again, it's letting you know that it's about to format the storage device so everything on that card will be erased alright so now that the format is complete I'm gonna go ahead and close Rufus and navigate to my PC and I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the drive And from here, we will continue on the next part of the video. Alright guys, so we're back. I went ahead and unplugged the SD card from my desktop. And I've inserted it into my Raspberry Pi here at the bottom. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plug in the power adapter. Now, as you can see here, the operating system goes through its boot load, its uh, boot manager, and it begins the uh, process for uh, initializing the operating system, for initializing Kali Linux. All right, so Kali Linux is loaded. I'm just gonna go ahead and log in here 
just to give you guys a quick glimpse of uh, Kali Linux on the Raspberry. Now, the default username is going to be root. And the default password is going to be Tor. And so here you have it, uh, Kali Linux loaded on uh, the Raspberry Pi. Now from here you can go and go into the terminal emulator and do an apt-get upgrade and apt-get uh, update to update this to the latest version, patch it up. Um, one thing to keep in mind though is that this is a, a light version of Kali, so Many of the uh, applications that you would typically see on the full version isn't here. Uh, some of the basic applications such as, such as Nmap and um, Zenmap and Wireshark, they're loaded on here. Aircrack is loaded on here. Uh, however, uh, many of the other tools aren't. And so uh, you can easily get those uh, applications in by uh, doing an app get. But essentially, Kali Linux is here uh, on the Raspberry Pi, ready to do any pen testing. All right, so thank you for watching my video. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment.